Right now, closing arguments are taking place in New York in the trial of Numan Hussein. Yeah, he's the lim limousine company operator who's facing dozens of charges after a 2018 limo crash that killed 20 people. Morgan Norwood walks us through the trial. Naman Hussein, the limo company manager facing 20 counts of manslaughter and 20 counts of criminally negligent homicide and that 2018 crash that killed 20 people in Schoharie, New York, west of Albany, could soon learn his fate. The trial was expected to last weeks, but took only five days after the district attorney rested their case. Today, jurors heard from the prosecution and defense as they made their closing arguments. Throughout the trial, the DA argued Hussein intentionally failed to follow regulations for maintaining the 2001 Ford Excursion Stretch SUV, which at the time of the crash was filled with 18 people when it spun out of control, crashed into a parked car, trees, and an embankment. Prosecutors adding the vehicle's aging brakes had not been replaced. Hussein's defense argued the repair company Mavis Discount Tire is the real party at fault, saying they lied about the work done on the limo at the center of the crash. Lawyers for Mavis Discount Tires, which is not on trial but is being sued by the families of the victims, have denied that the repair shop is at fault. At the time, it was the country's deadliest ground transportation crash in nearly a decade, putting the safety of limousines in the spotlight. According to family, the group rented transportation to visit a brewery and other stops safely. Karina Halls telling ABC back in 2018 about the pain of losing her sister, Amanda. I'm empty. I, um, it's an indescribable pain. I have like no words for it. Um, never felt a pain like this ever in my life. Now, before closing arguments started, the judge denied the defense's request to add a lesser included misdemeanor charge of reckless endangerment for the jury to consider during their deliberations. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.